Hello, everyone. Welcome to your weekend edition of Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for our weekend, Friday, May 10th through Sunday, May 12th. I hope you guys had a good week. Um, and I hope you have an even better weekend. Don't mind me. I'm just lighting some sage here just to get the energies a little bit clearer. Um, so this is a general reading, so please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If you'd like a look into your own personal situation, please go ahead and email me. My email is in the description box below. Um, 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 um. I think that's it. Okay. Let's just get straight to it, guys. Let's see what we've got for the weekend. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the weekend of Friday, May 10th, through Sunday, May 12th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, I'm gonna give this some shuffles here and then we'll just see what we've got for the weekend. Friday, May 10th through Sunday, May 12th. I tried to do a bit of a pre-shuffle, but twice, like huge stacks of cards fell out. So I was just like, you know what? I think the cards are just telling me to get to the reading and not to worry about it. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Friday, May 10th through Sunday, May 12th. Keep in mind, guys, that these messages are timeless. I'm just putting a time frame on it just to give it a bit of focus. But whenever, whatever comes through with the message, whenever you hear it and it resonates for you, then just take it, okay? All right, last shuffle here, Friday, May 10th through Sunday, May 12th. Now, I am kind of seeing a color progression. Friday kind of looks yellow, and by the time we get to Sunday, it looks pink. So there may be some illumination, some sort of clarity that comes about for you or maybe someone that you're connected with that starts on Friday that helps you to fall into a more or someone else to fall into a more loving vibration. Um, this could be maybe you get some information about someone you may have feelings for or crush on or maybe something becomes clearer for you internally which allows you to accept and assimilate more divine love by the end of the weekend okay whatever that means for you we'll see if that comes out here let's see what we've got best messages please spirit for our weekend Okay, Knight of Swords, so communication, yeah, all right. So there could be some shadow work that you guys are doing here this weekend, or not just this weekend, but just for this message here, there's a little bit more shadow work happening. Um, okay, all right, that's a good thing though. It really is a good thing. Under Yes, indeed. Underneath the deck, you have the tower. All right, so... The message that's coming through for this moment, it could be for your weekend. It absolutely could be for your weekend, but it doesn't have to be. Okay, but um, there it looks like there's some sort of realization that may happen here. There's some sort of, there's a tower moment that happens. Now you could have already gone through this tower moment, okay? This could be something that may have happened recently and maybe over the weekend you are fighting to understand it. I just heard fighting to understand it, so I said it that way, or trying to understand it. Um, okay, I'm actually, I'm gonna rearrange these. Here we go, yes. Now, looky here, now, you have four cards here and there are two more that are face down. 
We're going to look at those in a second. But here you have the Knight of Swords, Shadow Work, Six of Swords, and the Fool. So the Knight of Swords and the Shadow Work. This is you charging into battle, okay? I really do feel like for some of you, I'm seeing arguments. Um, I'm seeing heated engagements. But I'm also seeing that most of or feeling that some of these arguments that you may get into with someone are of a self-defensive nature. Now, that self-defense could look very much like offense here, especially with this Knight of Swords energy, but, um, you know, charging into battle on your own behalf is kind of what's going, what the, the theme is here for this message. Um, and this doesn't have to involve anybody else. This could just be, be you facing your own demons here, okay, and doing a little more shadow work. Now, I do see it being successful here. Well, yeah, I guess you could say it's successful. Um, but mainly because of the fact that you're moving away from the turmoil in some way with the Six of Swords. You're moving from rough waters to calmer waters. The Six of Swords is a very healing card for me, um, especially when it comes to the mental space, all right? And then from there, you have the fool. There's a brand new start. There's a leap of faith that happens or that's coming as a result of this tower moment and this shadow work that you or someone else will be doing, okay? Let's see what these other two cards are here. Yep, the nine, I'm sorry, the knight of pentacles and the nine of cups. These are good things, okay? This is kind of like the hidden aspect of the situation. Um, regardless whatever regardless of what the circumstances the specific circumstances are that you are going through um, slow and set steady wins the race I do see that you will reach your goal here there are some complications there are some hiccups there are some setbacks but that's just what it looks like okay um, underneath the surface things are actually moving progressing quite well it's all a part of the shadow work energy that uh, or yeah, the shadow work process that you, excuse me, that you or someone else is going through, okay? It's pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory, but um, this communication or this illumination that I'm seeing in the progression of the weekend from yellow which is the illumination, it could be communication, um, to pink by the, just the progression of the energies that I'm channeling for right now in this moment that are being expressed for this time period of this weekend, the 10th through the 12th. This progress, this progression is what I'm seeing in the yellow to the pink. And the pink would be, so the yellow, you would start here with the Knight of Swords and you would progress, do, face some demons, do some shadow work, move on, make some, uh, find some closure. I'm definitely feeling there's some sort of closure here with the Six of Swords. And then by the end of the process, you reach the Fool, which is, and if you look here, you see all that pink on the card? That's kind of what I'm seeing. The pink energy, the unconditional love, being able to love yourself enough and to accept enough of the divine love from the universe to take a leap of faith in a direction that is more resonant with you. Okay, Nine of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, slow and steady wins the race. Eventually, you will reach your goal. Satisfaction is here. Satisfaction is guaranteed as long as you do your shadow work. Period. I don't, I mean, I don't care what that looks like, what that feels like how long that takes, it really doesn't matter. As long as you do your shadow work, as long as you do your healing, and you work on becoming whole within yourself, and you know, you, you do your work, success is guaranteed. The universe is not in the, in the business of denying us that which we desire, but they're also not just gonna drop it in our lap without us doing the work to get there. That would defeat the purpose of existence to begin with. <laughs> okay. All right. This is a fight. Uh, some for some for some of you, this is a fight. This is an argument. This is you standing your ground, speaking up for yourself potentially with this knight of swords energy. 
and for some of you, especially with the tower here, this is something that has that I'm not I don't want to say you've been struggling with, but it's been it's like it's on its last legs. Like this could be like the very tail end of this type of energy being showing up in your life, which would be why you have the six of swords energy here um, and the fool. Ooh. Okay, starting brand new. The Six of Swords is moving from rough waters to calmer waters, and I finally, and I feel like that's finally putting that, leaving something behind you, something to rest. Okay. <clears throat> Let's get some clarification here. I'm still using the Golden Universal Tarot deck. I am so in love with this deck. I've been using it all week. It's my new one, and it's so pretty. Okay. We're going to start with the top row, and we're just going to get some clarification. For this weekend message. Two more shuffles here. All right, guys, for your weekend, May 10th through the 12th, starting with this top row, this, ooh, okay, well, we have the chariot underneath the deck to start with. Um, <clears throat> this is confidence. This is bold movement forward. Um, this is you being balanced, grounded, secure, in control of your life, ready to move forward. And this also would be why you would be standing up for yourself here ready to go to battle for yourself at the knight of swords i really don't feel like you're looking for a fight you're not looking to pick a fight with anyone someone might get a little snippy with you someone might say the wrong thing like catch you at the wrong time and then catch catch the uh <laughs> the sharp end of your tongue um but it's all part of the shadow work you're doing okay and you're moving forward you're moving forward very quickly you're, ex you're on like somewhat of an accelerated path here. All right, let's see what we get. For this top row, please, Spirit, some clarification. Knight of Swords, Shadow Work, Six of Swords, and the Fool, please. Just some clarification here. Okay, that looks like the Ace of something. Maybe the Ace of Wands. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah, communication, eight of wands. Okay, uh, the five of wands fell out and that's crossing the nine of cups. There's some sort of disbelief here, some differing of opinion. Um, that mostly feels external, I'm not gonna lie. It mostly feels external strength. Um, but I do feel like that external representation of a co differing of opinion, conflict, or whatnot, it's, it's starting to get to you a little bit. Yes. Ten of Wands is underneath the deck here. Let's see what else we've got. Yes, look at that. There's the tower again. And this is the Ace of Wands, just like I thought, but it's reversed. Um, okay. Okay, Spirit is saying that this Ace of Wands in reverse is not a bad thing. Okay. Um, it's a bad, it, it's, it's not a bad thing. It's, it's reversed because there's a blockage here. It's like there's a new direction that you want to move in, but you're still carrying some sort of burdens from the past. And this could be the distant past. It could be the recent past. It doesn't matter. Um, but this is what I, this is really what I feel like you're working on releasing. This is what this tower moment with the three of pentacles and strength even is representing here. Releasing the burdens, having the strength to release the burdens, having the strength to master yourself on another level. Um, this is also teamwork. Part of the situation that you're dealing with here is being involved with people that are not the best team players. Um, and you often give them the benefit of the doubt. Well, now is the time to not do that any longer. 
and to communicate how they may not be contributing to the situation when they are, are technically are supposed to. We could even be talking about a job here, a job situation, a creative endeavor, um, uh, business partners, entrepreneurial partners. Part of your shadow work here is standing up for yourself and releasing the burdens that you really don't need to be carrying, okay? And then you have the Five of Wands that also came out, and that fell down here on the Nine of Cups. There's some doubt, um, some disbelief that you'll be able to do this. Aww. Um... But you know, there's conflict. But this also is um, this Five of Wands energy. This is chaos. And it's the chaos of creation. It's the chaos of the universe here. Um, <laughs> this can seem pretty chaotic, this process of getting what you want. But I, but I really feel like this Five of Wands is trying to reassure you that no matter what the chaos or confusion here, everything is going to work out slowly but steadily. I really want to tell you to just trust the process. Even though it may look crazy and chaotic and there are a bunch of people around with all these differing opinions and all that shit, just trust the process. Okay, let's get some clarity now on the Nine of Cups. Nine of, yes, the Nine of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles, please, Spirit. Just some clarity on these two. Ooh. Ooh. Well, gee, that's interesting. Holy moly. And there's the Nine of Cups again. Okay, underneath the deck is the sun. And then you have the moon. Well, shit, that's weird. That's very interesting. You have the three and the four of cups. Three of cups representing celebration, a party. Huh. You have a celebration, you have a party here. You might have a third party situation. You also, you also have a union. It's a union energy. But then you have the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups being boredom, dissatisfaction, unrequited love. So, okay, so what I'm getting here is with, is that things started out good with the Three of Cups, but now you're starting to, you're starting to see the byproduct of this work. I'm picking up some sort of entrepreneurial situation and you're seeing like the byproduct of what this group effort is giving you and you're not satisfied with it. You're not happy with it. You're not, it's not up to your liking. And you have the moon here with that. But then you also have the Nine of Cups. The moon talks about cycles, it talks about phases, it talks about fear, it talks about illusion, it talks about intuition. It also talks about things not being as they seem. There is a team situation here. There's maybe a, even if, and, and outside of like business or whatnot, this could be friendship or this could just be Maybe you're coming together with someone and things seemed great in the beginning, but now you're starting to notice some other things that are like not up to your liking. Things are not as they seem, the moon, okay? Things are gonna be just fine. You're going to get, I mean, the nine of cups came out again, clarifying the nine of cups. So, <laughs> I mean, it's gonna work out. It's gonna work out. And then you have the sun here. Illumination, understanding. Success, happiness, it's gonna work out. Um, allow the cycles to happen, okay? Just go with the flow. Just go with the flow. I know, I know it looks like right now, this Four of Cups energy is like 
staring me in the face. I know it looks bleak right now. Four of Cups with the moon. It may not look, it may look like unrequited love right now, but it isn't. Don't allow your boredom, your boredom to affect you, to affect the situation. Stay vibrant, vibrant, stay upbeat. Don't let the circumstances get you, get, get you down. Again, differing of opinion, confusion, chaos, five of wands, okay? Okay, we're gonna move to the oracle section. Whispers of love. Alrighty, we're gonna start here. We'll see what comes out. And then we're gonna close the reading with the crystal mandala deck. Yes? Yes. Okay, best messages please spirit for today's reading for this weekend edition. Woo! Okay. All right, underneath the deck is be willing to express love. When we express love, we begin to receive more love. Okay. You have be in the present and dream of the future. When we dream, everything is possible, but don't get so wrapped up in it that you're that you're disconnected from what's happening here now. Use what you are what you are experiencing in the present to help you dream of what you want to experience in the future, okay? You've got uh oh, card number 27, spiritual connection. This relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. And that's part of the reason why things are really, are really going to be working out well. You have the nine of cups twice. You have the sun to counteract the moon. You have counterparts again, sun and the moon, the masculine and the feminine. All right. Everything's going to be okay. Finally, you have... Uh, Card number two, like attracts like. If you are longing for, if you're longing for more love in your life, you need to be more loving. But this also means that you need to be more loving of yourself, okay? And remove things from your life that don't serve loving or honoring yourself in the way that you know you deserve to be. Okay. So now let's close the reading with an oracle message from the Crystal Mandala deck. Hmm. All right, spirit. Thank you so much. Just a closing message, please. Closing message here. For the collective, for our message for the weekend edition, May 4th, I'm sorry, May 10th through the 12th. Here we go, guys. Best message, please, Spirit, just to close out this reading. There it is. Ah, card number four. Archangel Melchizedek and Selenite. Divine protection. Very nice. No, perfection. Divine perfection, not protection. Perfection. I love it. There are so many cards in this deck. I've been using this deck for over a year now, this Crystal Mandala deck, right? And there are so many cards in this deck and only the same ones ever seem to come out. So I love it when a new one comes out, which would be this one. I love it. Okay. We bring you the gift of divine perfection. As you receive our gift, you will feel a wave of great peace move through your heart and mind. You will know you are exactly as you were divinely designed to be, that your life is proceeding in perfect timing and that all is well. If there has been a matter causing you concern, 
Allow us to bless that situation with the peaceful grace of the divine now. You shall receive the perfect resolution of that matter in accordance with unconditional love. There is no need to judge yourself for any decision or choice you have ever made. Forgive yourself and others now. There are so many blessings for you to receive and no need for you to hold on to anything out of fear, shame, guilt, or regret. Free yourself as you surrender into realization of divine perfection. Oh, wow. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee Monday morning. Yeah? Take care. Bye.